Hey, I'm going to do a review of my school. Well, tell you about my school, my macro schooling, M Y C R O school in Gainesville, Florida. And I may explain my why this is my um third school. Okay. Well, let me start. With, this is why my th this is my third school. I was at the school trilogy for two years, and I was supposedly kicked out, according to my dad. Um, but you get acceptance letters and things hired. They want you back. Um, and and the principal, history teacher, slash history teacher, never told me anything about it. So, and then my next high school for 10th grade, I went for three months, up to about three months, and then I stopped, well I didn't stop, stop, I went to my, went to camp, and did schooling there. And finished high school there. Now I'm in my final year of high school at my macro schooling, and that's why how I chose to do virtual schooling because my virtual I mean my macro is a virtual based school where we still do have classes, write things down, and but it's mostly like online and. So if you have teachers in a classroom with you, there, um, I have four classes, to take, or as of, I know I'm picking four classes until I can finish each, each class. Which shouldn't take too long, to be truthful. And I only have three binders for three of my. I only have binders for three of my classes. Okay. Am I? I'm taking history. I'm taking. Government. Government. U.S. government. In English. English for nothing really. Oh, yeah. Biology. I drew this. Everything. Admire it. I'm taking biology the second semester of it. Because I already did the first semester. Supposedly, I guess. I don't know how. My schooling was weird at Pinellas Sky. But I do wear a uniform navy blue polo. Can have a little thing on it and I can also and I also have to wear khaki pants they have to be khaki and I have to wear a belt but as female women ladies girls females females we don't have to have our shirts tucked in but males do have to tuck their shirt in. Reasoning is, it's hard to tuck your shirt in if you're pregnant. So, and you're not allowed to have your cell phone, um, or bag or purse. Um, 
your phone and stuff will be put into a different locker, a little small locker where you keep your key with you. And if you have a big pot wallet, you can stick it in there so you don't lose your wallet. Um, I also put my keys in there so I don't have to deal with um, the clinking and the keys hitting anything while in the process. Um, you can switch classes, honestly. There's two buildings. Um, of my macro. You also. I don't have my wallet. One size for like ninth and tenth. And the side I'm on is probably for like 11th and 12th graders. Um, I'm in 12th grade. Yay, 12th grade! Um, Ooh, he's having birthday. Oh yeah, my, I don't know what I was going to remember. I was going to say, my fourth class, I'm taking reading, intensive reading, to pass the FCAT, and then I'm going on to al Algebra 2. Yay, my math. And I'm taking English 4 as of right now, bio, the last semester of biology and U.S. government. Um, do you have to warn you, there is a metal detector because of your phone, so they can make sure you don't have your phone on you. How do I just turn you on? Um, and big, big hoop earrings will set it off, and I think some necklaces will set it off too. Some watches will. Mine won't. Mine's not metal, it's plastic. As you can tell, it's fading. Um, Post's earrings won't set it off. The clips won't set it off. My gauge won't set it off because it's small and it's not exactly a hoop hoop. Ooh, it's raining off in the distance. And my awesome ring won't set it off. <laughs> Different colors and it moves and it has dragons on it. I got it on my last home stay before I graduated from camp. Um, you can wear, you can't wear hair ties. I mean, like headbands. Suppose um, they will accept six handwritten notes. Eighteen, you can write your own notes, which I can. Yay! Um, I wrote my first one. Yes, Thursday. Did it? No, I won't be in school Monday. Um, let's see what else. Your well, you will have a password and username for the computer. That will also sign you into your account called Angel. That's where you have all your classes, and all your classes will be on there. You won't have PE. PE unless it's an elective. If you have a job, it will be 150 hours will count as one credit, 250 hours will count as two credits. You just have to take in your check and your or your hours. I don't work yet. I want to work at PetSmart. I'm applied. Still waiting for an answer.
um, there's no actual school bus, school bus for the school, but you can make, get dropped off by your parents, picked up by your parents, you can walk home, you can ride your bike, you can run, run, oh, it's a big problem. Or you write the RTS bus. They will give you a pass. They started the third day of school giving a daily pass. Friday, they um gave out. You can continue getting a daily pass, a monthly pass, and the new thing a semester pass for the city bus RTS bus for Gainesville. And I just do so in case if I'm home alone one day or my parents can't pick me up for some whatever reason. I can't run my bike home because it's raining. Well, I can't. I just don't feel safe. I can ride the RTS bus, so I got the semester pass. Which will, if I lose it, I cannot get a new one until the next semester. So, hmm. let's see what else is there about my macro scoring. The orientation. If you miss a day of orientation, you have to start all over again on um, like the 30th or something. If you're a new student, that you don't want to miss it, trust me. I just went every day so I can get it over with so I can start school, finish high school as soon as I can to graduate. graduate. So, hmm. I don't know if there's anything else about my macro schooling. Um, any questions, just comment below. If it was helpful, like, please like. Um, or if you just like the video, like it too. And if there's anything I can improve, well, if you think I can improve on something, just let me know. I'm up. I'm open to it. I'm okay with that. To be truthful. See ya.